In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this simple but effective screen shake effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So in order to do this screen shake effect, first of all, we just want to go into the motion tab on our video and we want to increase the scale. So at the moment it should be set to 100. We're just gonna increase this up to 110. And then of course, feel free to reposition if you want, but make sure you don't bring this up to the edge of the frame like this, because we are going to adjust the rotation and we're going to see the black video underneath the video. So just make sure you've got a little bit of room and then you should be good. So around that much should be okay. So in order to do the screen shake, you want to find the point where you want it to happen. So we'll go for there. And we'll create a brand new keyframe on position and rotation. Now we're going to go maybe 10 frames to the right and we're just going to create a duplicate keyframe on both. So we've got our in point and we've got our out point. Now essentially we can just go through this frame by frame and make this screen shake adjustment. So we'll go two frames after the first set of keyframes that we created and we'll change the rotation to three. Then we'll go another two frames over. We'll go to a negative number, so negative two. Then we'll go over and go for one go over another two, go for minus one. And when we play this back, that is a very simple screen shake effect enabled. Now, of course, you might be wondering what is the point of these position keyframes? Well, if you wanted to make any adjustments to the position, so maybe we did want to bring it down towards the end, we can just do that. Or maybe let's say we rotated really far around like this, then having this position keyframe enables us just to adjust that position to clean that up and make sure we've got no overlapping. Now, the great thing is because we have created this once, all we need to do to copy this on later on is to highlight all of those keyframes. We'll go Command C to copy. That is on Mac. If you're on Windows, I believe it is Control C. Then we'll just move over and go Command V or Control V and paste. So you can see we've got it once and then twice, but we only had to make it the one time. Now, if you wanted some motion blur on this, then instead of doing this in the motion tab, we could drop transform onto the video. So search for transform, that should be under distort. We'll drop that onto our video. And now essentially it's the exact same process as up here, but rather than doing this on motion, we're doing this on transform. So I'm just going to delete all of the effects that we just made. So I'm going to get rid of the keyframe animation and I'm going to reset everything back to its original value. So back to 100. Now we'll go onto transform and we'll do the same thing again. So we'll increase the scale up to 110. We'll go to position, rotation, go maybe 10 frames over or so. Create that duplicate keyframe. And then we'll just work our way through this to create that effect. So two frames over is going to be negative four, two frames over will be plus two, two frames over will be negative one. And you can see I haven't created enough space here, so I'm just gonna move this over. Then we'll go up to one, and then we'll let that come back down. So this is what we have. You can see it's very similar to what we had, but the difference with doing this in the transform tab rather than the motion tab is we can now add some motion blur. So we can unselect or deselect use composition shutter angle and we can change the shutter angle all the way up to, let's say 360. You can see that's added some motion blur on. Now, alternatively, I could go down to 180, which is the shutter angle of this composition. You can see that looks a lot more realistic, but if you did want that more exaggerative motion blur, then you can see that with 360. And again, all you have to do to repeat this is to just copy all of those keyframes and just paste them on like this. Now, if you wanted to copy this onto a different video, then rather than copying the keyframes, you would just either copy the motion tab or you would copy the transform tab. And if we go into a different video, let's go into this video. You can see we'll paste that on. And you can see that's added on there. So the screen shake effect is a pretty quick and really simple effect to do in Premiere. But when you tie this with an edit in your music, then this can look really great and really effective. So thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.